An Omaha mother has been grieving for eight years. Someone shot and killed Terry Snotty's son, but so far no arrests have been made and Snotty says she won't be able to rest until someone is held responsible. John Chapman shares her story. Every day. It's not a day go by. I don't talk to him. I walk by his picture there, say good morning, Jeffrey. Hi, son. I love you. I miss you. Terry Snotty has been missing her son for eight years. Eight years ago, someone shot and killed him at his home near 24th and Heimball. Someone actually broke into his apartment and robbed him and shot him twice. From what the investigation was talking about, that he had to know these individuals or the person mm -hmm. because there was no forced entry, so it was someone that he thought he could trust. Eight years later, police are still investigating, trying to figure out who killed 27-year-old Jeffrey Snotty. Of course, there's a lot of people. There's people that know. They're just probably afraid to come forward, but I wish they would. Jeffrey left behind three children. They had to grow up without him. It just tore us apart, especially myself. It just tore me apart. You know, I couldn't believe it because he was such a loving and caring son. You know, he had changed his life for the better. Terry Snotty says she talked to police about a month ago. Still, no leads. I mean, not knowing every day for eight years. I mean, not knowing. Every day I think about it, but I never give up faith. With photographer Mike Clues, John Chapman, WWT 6 News. If you have any information on the death of Jeffrey Snotty, you're asked to call police. You could be eligible for a reward.